Now you are, yeah. you are put in a group that does look possible. I mean, if we're going to judge Denmark from your performance at the Euros, because at the Euros, uh, you know, add up what happened with uh, Ericsson, I, I think Denmark stole our hearts, you know, with love, with Simon Chia, the captain who led from the front, who went from being a footballer to uh, uh, West Coast first respondent in the medical emergency and all the love that came in. Now you're in a group of France, Denmark, Tunisia, Australia. Another African team is in this group with you. Australia is always that team that you cannot predict. Just when you think they're not going to do well, they come up with surprise. They run like the kangaroos, never get tired. And France, I mean, from two times World Cup champion, Euro champ, everything. Euro, France is everything. They've got the best set of players. But then again, I remember in 2002 when France came to the World Cup with the top goal scorer in France, in Gibri Sissé, top goal scorer in Italy, in David Trezeguet, top goal scorer in England, Thierry Henry. Did he score a single goal? When Denmark, I mean, with your preparation going into this World Cup, do you, what are the chances of Denmark? Uh, I think Denmark should uh, definitely progress from the group stage, uh, even though those are, uh, like you say, those are strong teams. Um, and Denmark actually, actually played Australia and France at the last World Cup as well, um, yeah. which, were, which were two difficult matches, both, to, both of them, uh, two draws. Um, I, think, I think with the, with the, with the sh form that the Danish team is in, uh, you mentioned the Euros last year, and uh, also the World Cup qualification, where they obliterated most of the opposition in, in their group. Um, I think Denmark should definitely uh, progress from the group stage. And I think could dream of at least a quarterfinal, um, because this, this is a strong group of, of Danish players. And, um, and, I, and I think that they've they will be riding high uh, from from the, the Euros uh, last year. We are 68 days before the World Cup, uh, six hours and 40 minutes before the, the whistle will blow on the 20th of November. Uh, from your end in Denmark, who are the star players for us to look at to look at for? Uh, I most likely will be at the World Cup in Qatar. Uh, who are the star players that, as a journalist, I'm going there to look at for? Um... Well, I think you should definitely look out for Christian Eriksen, even though he is uh, a famous name and have been for for many years. Uh, there was uh, his uh, his uh, his heart problem last year, like you mentioned, and um, it's it's really interesting the way that he's just uh, gone back into the Danish team, like not like happen. he was never gone. Yeah, yeah, exactly, um, which is really impressive. Uh, Obviously, we have um, someone like Joachim Mele from Atalanta, who I think is a very exciting uh, player, scores a lot of goals for a defender as well. Um, a really uh, offensive uh, wing-back, uh, at least in, in, in the Danish system. Uh, I think he's one to, to watch. And um, if I had to name a third one, uh, I would probably keep an eye on... Uh, Mikkel Damsko, who who was actually the one who uh, replaced. Come back with the name again. Mikkel Damsko. Oh, Mikkel Damsko. Oh, very yeah, very yeah. very very good player. Uh, I still remember yeah, his free kick has... free kick uh, that uh, destroyed England goalkeeper. You know, up until that time, he's not considered a goal, and that free kick was amazing, as far as I'm concerned. Yes, I agree. You are listening to a Legbete TV radio.